Oh yeah, it's double organic. Hey, got a video here for you. Gonna be comparing the two most popular spiralizers on the market. Give you my pick. I uh, have used this one for years. It is called the Spiruli. But I'm going to tell you why the uh, I've come to prefer the Joyce Chen spiralizer over the Spiruli. So the Joyce Chen spiralizer, it's cheaper, smaller, packs away, much easier, and most importantly, the noodles that it makes are much finer, and you'll see that. Now, the one downside to the Joyce Chen spiralizer is that it can only fit so large a piece of whatever you're spiralizing into it. Uh, it's pretty easy to clean. I prefer it much more than the Spiruli. The Spiruli, it can hold a very large zucchini or whatever you want to spiralize. And it's just as easy to use, but the noodles are much coarser. It spiralizes a zucchini, for example, much faster than the Joyce Chen does because the Joyce Chen has a much finer blade, so it cuts much slower, but the noodles that are finer hold sauces much better and I prefer the texture more so than the noodles that come out of the spiruli. Additionally, the spiruli has suction cups because it needs it. The Joyce Chen does not need uh, suction cups. So, we're going to unlock the, uh, the top and there's two functions we can either hide the blade and only have uh, ribbon slices come out or we can turn the, uh, the blade up and we're going to get our noodles here is the inside of the spiralizer and we're just going to place the zucchini in. There's a small uh, spike standing up that centers it. I'm just going to place it on and it is the other spikes, as you can see, that grip onto the zucchini. So here's an action shot. Here is the spiruli. We have our spikes to help rotate what we are spiralizing, and we have our, our blades and cutters, and this circular blade which helps support the zucchini in this uh, lathe style spiralizer. So, I just want to give one last tip about the spiruli, as well as a criticism. It is tough to clean. The spiruli is tough to clean. But, here's a tip. When you're removing this slider, press in. So, in this direction, press in and it'll come up nice and easy. And these are how you change the size of noodle. So the zucchini is set up. I'm going to show you how the spiralizer works. Now as you can see, this zucchini has quite a bit of a bend in it. And so I'm going to also show you an extra tip 
on how you can spiralize wonky shaped zucchinis and still manage to spiralize them easily. What I'm going to do is, as I progress through the zucchini and start to get to the bend, then what I can do is recenter this part over here and we're going to spiralize it easily. Okay, I have the suction cups secured and we're just going to go ahead and spiralize this zucchini. I'm just going to recenter the zucchini and keep spiralizing. So, here we have our noodles side by side, as you can see. The spiruli noodles they are much coarser, whereas our Joyce Chen spiralized noodles are fine, just like angel hair pasta. Lastly, this is the result of the uh, spiruli, this core of the zucchini. And that's called the zucchini weenie, whereas with the Joyce Chen spiralizer, you're left with just this little dollar piece of uh, zucchini. So there's much more noodles going, or much more zucchini going into the, no the noodles. helpful. Like I said, I prefer the Joyce Chen Spiralizer. If you want to buy the Spiruli, you can get it online somewhere from a raw food site or Amazon, something like that. If you want to get yourself one of the uh, Joyce Chen Spiralizers, if you're in Canadiana, like myself, Chris Kendall, the therawadvantage.com, he sells these and you can get get yourself a Joyce Chen Spiralizer. If you're in the United States, uh, Karen Ramsey, superhealthychildren.com sells these as well. Peace.